Many of us are very well trained human beings, trained in a certain behavior that we've been taught um, by our family, our culture, the books we read, our interests, and all is well and fine, but um, it's interesting to look at it from the perspective of the all-encompassing intelligence that we are speaking about here. How many of us have been trained to think about ourselves and what are the ways that we've been doing that? Many of us have been trained to believe, and I'm included, that there's something wrong about the, my thoughts, emotions, and maybe some of my sensations, and I need to do something about it. I need to work really hard and um, try to rearrange this, uh, this display so I can reach the goal of being a good and normal human being. And, um, and that always led me to more and more striving and never, never reaching somewhere. Where I thought many times after doing some, some, some things, I thought, wow, I reached there and I managed to arrange just positive thoughts, just wonderful sensations, I love everyone, you know, everything is sorted, Bollywood style. <laughs> and then suddenly there came a thought that just broke everything. Oh, I read the news or I received a phone call that I didn't like and there was a sense of failure. And there was a sense of guilt also that I can't really manage that. And it's interesting to see that once we're introduced to the fundamental intelligence at the basis of all of this ever-changing thoughts, emotions, sensations, data streams, we come to see that the, the, it's really futile to try and rearrange that, to try to fight with it, to try to get better ones. And why is that? When we stop thinking for a moment, we can see what remains. Try it. <laughs> There's a sense of alertness, openness, cognizance, the power to know. This is open intelligence and it's always present, regardless of the thought, emotion or the next data stream, which obviously comes back now. If we ask each one, what, what is your current data streams? There are loads, and, um, but open intelligence remains. And all the data streams that are streaming forth from open intelligence, like the sun and its rays, there are not two things. So there is the sun, brilliant sun, and its rays. That's like open intelligence and our data streams, inseparable, not two things. In order to gain confidence and assurance in this stability and clarity in our everyday life, we have a simple tool in Balance View. So we received the introduction, the direct introduction, which is a very important point. And then we are invited to rest for a short moment and recognize open intelligence just for a short moment a brief moment instinctively recognize what is at the basis of the current perception whether it's positive negative or neutral try it for a moment and see when we repeat the instinctive recognition of short moments repeated many times, then more and more we gain confidence in that. We become accustomed to the flow of our data streams as open intelligence until we get uh, to the point where we gain complete assurance that this is the way things actually are. Where all the need to play around with my data streams, which I've done for almost 20 let's say 25 years or 20 plus years, uh, I've been really waking up in the morning and thinking, okay, what's wrong with me today? What needs to be sorted? Who can I blame? And who can I pay to fix me? <laughs> you know, maybe it sounds extreme, but when you think about it, many of us, they, we, we wake up in the morning where sometimes there is the sense of like, I'm not really getting the point. W what's the point? <laughs> Am I here to suffer? Am I here to fix myself? Am I here to achieve better data streams? What is the point? And that's uh, something that I ask myself from a very young age. And I'm very grateful that I've met Balanced View at a quite young age, which was 25, <coughs> 10 years ago. 
almost 10 years ago. So, because then I really understood the nature of all of my data streams. Where before there was a struggle, there was confusion at times. When I didn't have my preferred thought or emotion, there was a struggle there. I needed to think about it, indulge it, analyze it, why it's there, who's there, who, why, 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 you know, having Excel sheets in my mind, yeah, it came in the age of six, and then it's because of that. Freud would say that this, and then, you know, woo, gone. <laughs> All the clarity and openness is like in the Excel sheet. And that's indulging, one option to use our mind. The second option to use our mind is avoiding, avoiding people, places, and things that maybe trigger the data streams that we don't like. Maybe your parents, for example, or your cat, I don't know. <laughs> the politician that you don't like. So, and then we do everything. No, no, I'm in a good state. No, 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 <laughs> not today. Don't enter my perfect space of descriptions here. And another way is to avo uh, replace the data stream. So we spoke about three. Avo uh, replace is thinking somehow through, again, belief systems that we've been taught and ideas that we've been digesting for a long time, that some data streams are better than others. We all speak about, many of us speak about equality and how everything is equal and all people are equal, but internally there's such a dictatorship at, a dictatorship at times because we are constantly, oh yeah, happiness uh, and... Uh, Positive states are better than depression and sadness, and it creates such confusion, confusion and then a lot of effort comes in order to change that. I don't know if any of you tried positive thinking or, or things like that. I remember that I tried it and I tried to cultivate a better state. But then the next data stream came and back to my limited self. And uh, all of that is fine and well, but once we're introduced to open intelligence, we have a fourth option. And it is to allow the data stream to be exactly as it is. I remember when I first heard that I was quite nervous. What do you mean allow it to be as it is? Will I go crazy? <coughs> Will I not understand what's happening around me? Will I be passive? And I asked all these questions, so I was quite impressed that none of the newcomer raised their hands today, because I was like, Tell me, tell me, you know, I was trying to prove what's happening here. And I received such graceful smiles and relaxation that I thought, well, okay, I, I want to try that, you know. They, they look quite genuine, these smiling people. And I want to see if really I can allow the data stream be as it is. So next morning I woke up, that was around 10 years ago in Rishikesh, in Sonu guest house and um, I woke up with the usual display of like oh, what's going on and all of that and I thought wait 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 this sh smiling people told me to <laughs> to test a short moment and see if open intelligence remains and what happens when I allow the data stream to be as it is so kind of courageous I gather myself and I relaxed for a short moment and it was like a moment of ha huh, you know just relief. Wait, is it really fine not to go there and try to fix it and change it? Because think about it, we try and fix and change things for like decades, but still they continue to come up. So that was a moment of confirmation that really I'm interested to try that and I want to see how it works. And the next morning I woke up and similar sensation and once I took a short moment, there was the self-release of the description. It just released, it, released itself, like a line drawn in water or a flight path of a bird in the sky. I didn't need to do anything about it. So it was like, whoa, I think it's game over. But I want to gain confidence and assurance in all experiences. And I want to see that it's really like that and not just a, a mood or a state, you know, of, of trying to get somewhere. So... That's how I continued, and I didn't just use the, the balance view is very unique in that, that it offers not just um, a simple practice that anyone can use in their everyday life, but also an entire, comprehensive, modern uh, empowerment network that is both standardized, but also customized to each of the individuals according to their unique display and unique strengths, gifts and talents. So we, in Balanced View we have not just the practice of short moments, 
We have also a training, uh, which is written training, meetings like this, loads and loads of media online that you can just listen to, and uh, I would recommend to do that, and books, and also one day introductory training today to just dive and see reality exactly as it is, to be empowered rather than being victims, rather than believing in all the limited ideas about ourselves, and empower ourselves, extract the power from everything, not just positive data. So that's the training, and also trainers who are human beings. It took me a while to get used to that, that other human beings are so reliable, so uh, I can trust them. They are there for me, they can guide me based on their experience. Like you would go to, I don't know, if you want to learn how to bake masala dosa, for example, you would go to the best masala dosa maker in all of India and you'll ask them for the tips and how to make sure it stays flat and whole and round. You will ask all those questions and they will be there with full confidence and assurance in your ability to make masala dosa and they will share everything with you. That will be a good masala dosa maker that passed on the, the, the information and knowledge they have. Same here with, I don't know why I brought the masala dosa thing, but <laughs> sorry, there are better and more profound examples, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, a mountain expert, a mountain guide who can show you the way to the Everest, that's a, a bit more profound uh, uh, example. And um, it was okay, thank you. I got the confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> and then also we have the community of people who are taking it on, taking it on, you know, courageously, because we have to be straightforward. Most of the people today are still thinking that somehow we are flawed and limited and using our intelligence in a limited way seems to be more normal and acceptable. So it's so powerful to have a community, a group of friends that say, wow, actually this is rubbish. I'm actually empowered. I'm able to be clear and confident and I enjoy increasing stability and cheer and openness in my everyday life. A life that is based on perfect love. Not the ideas about love. A life that is based on perfect love, the love of actually getting to love all of our data streams. So everything that I wanted to get rid of in terms of my experience, all my negative, naughty, uh, dirty, little secrets or big secrets, all the things that, you know, I thought they are stuck here and like come and poke me. Suddenly I see it's like living on an island of gold where everything is gold, everything. What, what, I, used to be what I used to describe as an enemy or a foe or a disturbance is inseparable from brilliant clarity, brilliant openness. And that's the power of a short moment. A short moment of open intelligence. For those of you who want to complicate it, I'm, I apologize. Because <laughs> we keep things here very simple. You know, it might be more appealing, oh, you flawed one, go and do this, that for the rest of your life, and maybe you will get there to the golden place of recognition or something like that. But they're here from the very first moment, from your first meeting, we say, you are perfect as you are. Nothing about you needs to change. Do you want to get used to it? Do you want to feel comfortable with that? Everything? Do you want to know how to relate to yourself and others with utmost dignity and non-contrivance? You know when you decide first in the new year, I know many people do new year resolution, and you decide, I'll be kind and helpful and all of that and then how long does it hold to the next conversation from your ex-partner or current partner or next conversation with the rickshaw driver or whatever but if we can enjoy stability moment after moment then it's very reliable source of genuine happiness and the four mainstays, the entire support network, the empowerment network that I described, makes it a guarantee. Guarantee. Outrageous, right? For me, when I heard that it's a guarantee, complete mental and emotional stability, I started to think of like 
Star Trek and all kinds of sci-fi things. What do you mean complete mental and emotional stability? Look at me. <laughs> Look at what's going on here. But nowadays I can sit in front of all of you, in front of the camera, and say, yeah, I enjoy mental and emotional stability. And regardless of the display, regardless of what's going on, if we think that stability and balance are dependent on balancing one negative side with a positive side, basically it's a flat line of, of lack of potency where all of this potency that can be used for the benefit of all is wasted in the attempt to control a, a nice display. Put it in place, keep it, no one to touch it, it's mine, I made it. When we allow the display to be as it is, there's just so much power. Time is flexible, there's so much time, there's so much energy, there's so much openness and readiness to be of benefit to others. And that's really the... the source and, and motivation here, the benefit of all. It's time that we come together as a human society and see, really look at our own direct experience and make a decisive uh, decision in terms of how we want to move forward. Victims fighting with others and fighting with ourselves and who's right and who's wrong, or naturally united for the benefit of all, where everyone can shine with their strengths, gifts and talents. And that's what the Four Mainstays really provide. That's what the Four Mainstays really give us if we are open enough or curious enough to try it in our own direct experience. And many people here today and many people around the world can share with you their experience as well and say, wow, it's actually the case. I didn't believe it initially. I thought it's a load of nice things, but no. Nah.